Hello, sixth graders. How are you doing? I hope you are healthy. Okay, this is the second November lesson. We repeat again what we have done during the week. Open your book. On student book, page 20, we started a new unit, teen life, being friends. Firstly, we answered these questions and then we answered the vocabulary part, the phrasal words part. We matched them with the pictures. Become friendly immediately. It's number four. Hit it off. B. Have a nice, have a good relationship. It's get on well with number one. Stay in contact. C. It's number five. Keep in touch with. D. Become friends again. It's number three. Make up with. E. Exchange news. It's catch up with. F. Stop being friends after an argument. It's number two. Fall out with. G. Spend time with someone. Someone. It's number seven. Hang out with. H. Accept something or someone that you don't really like. It's eight. Put up with something or someone. And after this, we check the listening. Also, we repeated the phrasal verbs. And now open your workbook page 12, exercise 1. Let's do the exercises below. We did it during the lesson, but now we are just repeating. 1. I can't put up with her behavior any longer. She's driving me crazy. 2. Gina usually gets on well with her mom. They have a very good relationship. 3. Tom finally made up with his brother John last night. I'm so happy they are friends again now. For Joanne and Debra fell out yesterday. They were arguing about something. Five, I met Sarah's brother for the first time yesterday and we just hit it off. He's really funny. Six, I have a really good group of friends. We hang out all, all the time after school. We usually go to the leisure center. Seven, it was good to see Lily yesterday and catch up i heard all about her new school eight your holiday is going to be wonderful keep in touch while you are away text me so let's turn to students book again now part 2a listen to conversations what is the problem let's listen first then let's see track then. 26 page 20 exercise 2 one What's happening with Dana and Mick? They fell out last week, and now they're not talking to each other. Why did they fall out? They usually get on really well. She said she can't put up with his annoying habits anymore. Apparently, he's always late. He always forgets things, and last week he broke her phone. Oh dear, but it can't last for long. I'm sure they'll make up with each other again soon. He always makes her laugh. 2. Do you know how Jenny is? She's okay. We keep in touch and we still hang out at the weekends. Does she like her new school now? Yes, it's going okay. She gets on quite well with her new classmates and she's really hit it off with one girl, so she's feeling a bit better now. But she found it quite hard. I'm sure she did. It isn't easy changing schools. I wouldn't like it. I'd like to catch up with her sometime soon. Well, why don't you come round this Sunday? The three of us can hang out. Great idea. Thanks. Okay, here, what is the problem of the dialogues? The first one is... Dana and Mick fell out because of Mick's annoying habits. In the dialogue 2, Jenny changed schools and didn't have any friends there. These were the problems. And here, um, it asked us the phrasal verbs. So you can listen it again if you like. But so now I'm not opening it again. Let's see the answers. Let's see the phrasal verbs. In the conversation, one fall out. Get on, put up with, make up. In the dialogue two, 
keep in touch, hang out, get on, hit it all, catch up, hang out. We heard them. And also we continued with the questionnaire here. Choose the best answers. Okay, like this we did it in the lessons. So I won't repeat it again. And turn the page. It's grammar part, present perfect. Read and listen to the dialogue. Why is Tasha upset? Let's listen it and then we'll see the Track answer. 27. Page 21. Exercise 4. Hey, Tash, why have you been in your room all day? I've fallen out with Zoe, so I'm fed up. I haven't spoken to her today. She's become extra bossy, and I don't like it. She is a bit bossy sometimes, but she can't help it. Zoe has always been so... organised. Yesterday, she said I was disorganised. But you are, Tash. I know. But she shouldn't say it. Look, that's why you have always got on so well. She organises you and you need it. I've decided to do everything myself now. OK, but can you please make up with Zoe? I've arranged for us to hang out at Ethan's later. Oh, OK then. Great. Why don't you phone her now? Oh, can you do it? So the, the upset, the Tasha was upset because she's fallen out with Zoe and hasn't spoken to her today. This was the reason. Okay, now look and look at the dialogue and uh, in exercise four and complete the question, questions. Okay, how do we make perfect tense? We use have or has. And after the part, past participle of the word. For example, number one, I've fallen out with Zoe. Number two, she's become extra fussy. Here, the short form of have. Here, the short form of has. And also, let's find the past participle of these verbs in the dialogue, which are regular. Okay, arrange, arranged, it's regular. He, be, it's irregular. Become, become, irregular. Decide, decided, it's regular. Fall, fallen, irregular. Get on, got on, irregular. Speak, spoken, irregular. Arrange and decide are regular, as I said. And after this, now look at this part. We used perfect present perfect to talk about events in the past when we do not know when they happened okay all right now let's look at this part write sentences using the present perfect there are four sentences here one i've been at home all day two she's fallen out with her friend three we've arranged to go out or they made up again. As you see, the short form of have and the short form of has. Now let's look look at workbook page twelve exercises two and three. Present perfect tense. Here, let's see the answers. Number one, he is given the dog a bath. Two, he hasn't cleaned his bike. Here we look at the chart and we complete according to it. Three, he's finished his homework. Four, he's written an email to grandma. Five, he hasn't made a cake for the family. Six, he hasn't bought a birthday present. Seven, he's washed the family car. And after the exercise three, part three, Here, we will complete it according to you. For example, I haven't given the dog a bath. I have or I haven't cleaned my bike. I have or I haven't finished my homework. 
I have or I haven't written an email to grandma. I have or I haven't made a cake for the family. I have or I haven't bought a birthday present. I have or I haven't washed the family car. After this exercise, we continue to the student's book again. Present perfect and past simple. Here we have to be careful because past simple is finished action, but we don't know about the present perfect if it's finished or not. One Zoe has always been so organized. Two yesterday she said I was disorganized. B. Here is the usage of the tenses. We use the past simple for an event in the past. We use the present perfect for an event in the past where there is a link to the present. Always there must be a link to the present. It's so important. You can underline it. Okay, now part 9. Choose the correct verbs. 1. I've seen three famous people in my life. Two. He, uh, he was at home yesterday. Three, dance chain. He used to be fun. Four, to invite me to his party last week. Workbook again, page 12, exercise 4. For part 4, we have to use the correct form of the tenses. So we looked at the photos. One, Jenny has finished her homework. She finished it last night. Okay. Two, Toby and Lucy have fallen out. They fell out at the weekend. Three, Jane and Amy have made up. They made up an hour ago. Four, Jess has written an email. She wrote it five minutes ago. Five, Kevin has invited Emily to the cinema. He invited her yesterday. 6. Jake has made a cake. He made it two hours ago. As you see, the first sentences are perfect as present perfect. The second sentences, they are past tense. And we use the time expression for the past tense, like two hours ago. Okay, now let's return to student's book, page 21, exercise 10. Here there is a listening and speaking. Listen to six conversations and complete the table. Listen, please. Track 28, page 21, exercise 10. 1. Hey, you're in a good mood. What's happened to make you smile like that? Oh, I finished my exams. Oh, <laughs> great. When? I finished my last exam at 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm so happy. 2. Hi, girls. Why is your hair wet? Where have you been? We've been to the swimming pool. So early? Yes, we went at 7 o'clock. And now we're going to school. I'm very impressed. 3. Hey, you two. You look very brown. Have you been on holiday? Yes, we've been to Spain. We went last week with our family. Did you have a good time? It was wonderful and we all got on really well. Hmm, surprisingly. 4. You've been to the shops. What have you bought? Show me. I've bought some new shoes. Look, aren't they nice? They're great. Where did you get them? I got them in Top Store yesterday. I love them. Five. We haven't hung out recently. You've been busy. Well, we've written a new song for the band. Yes, we finished it last night. I hope people like it. Oh, can I hear it? I'll tell you if people will like it. Six. Yay! Boys, what's all the noise? 
What's happened? Our team has won the match. Congratulations. That's fantastic. When did this happen? Ten minutes ago. Tom scored the winning goal at the end of the game. It was awesome. Okay, let's see the notes. They've been swimming, they went at 7 o'clock. 3. They've been to Spain, they went last week. 4. She's bought some shoes, she bought them yesterday. 5. They've written a new song, they wrote it last night. 6. Their team has won the match, they won 10 minutes ago. Okay, and now, part 11. Okay, there are some exercises. We wrote some sentences. Let's see them. I've seen a film with a friend. I haven't seen a film. I've done the homework for today. I haven't done the homework for today. I've watched a good TV program this week. I haven't watched a good TV program this week. I've hung out with my friends Recently, I haven't hung out with my friends recently. I've bought some new clothes recently. I haven't bought any new clothes recently. Okay, so let's test this part. We did the activity in part B in the class, so it was like speaking. Okay, now open your workbook page 13 exercises. Five and six. Here we completed the blanks. I also I haven't posted recently. I've had the usual computer and Wi-Fi problems. Hello to new readers. Welcome to my blog. Here is a summary of summary to get you up to date. I'm still on my travel. Year, and so far I've had a wonderful time. Before Christmas I worked hard for six months and I saved up enough money to travel around Europe. I left home on 3rd third, uh, third of February. My plan was to do something I've never tried before in each new country I visit. This is my list of new things I've done so far. I've been to a few countries. I've met some lovely people and I've seen so many amazing things. So far, I've traveled to six European countries by train. I visited a chocolate factory in Belgium. Mm, yum. I've eaten blue cheese in France. Yuck. I've hiked in Germany. Let me lie down. I've skied in Slovakia. Fab. I've seen beautiful paintings in Italy, culture queen. I've picked lemons in Spain, sore arms. I've scuba dived in the Mediterranean in Portugal, wow. But I haven't visited a castle in the Czech Republic. And I haven't relaxed in a spa in Hungary. But I haven't finished my traveling. And I've arrived in Prague now, so I'm off to find the castle in the old town. Actually, I can see it from my window. Speak to you all later, Emma. And after this, we continued with the sixth part. Here, first we asked the question and then answered it. One, has she eaten chocolate in Belgium? Yes, she has. 2. Has she hiked in Spain? No, she hasn't. 3. Has she seen snow in Slovakia? Yes, she has. 4. Has she skied in France? No, she hasn't. 5. Has she visited an art gallery in Italy? Yes, she was. 6. Has she swum underwater in the Atlantic? No, she hasn't. 7. Has she picked oranges in Spain? No, she hasn't. 8. Has she visited the castle in Prague? No, she hasn't. Okay, uh, so this was the ending of this recording video. See you next recording. Take care. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice